Hi everybody, this is an exciting video on how to make a picture in the style of this author and illustrator who is very famous named Eric Carl. He also wrote books that you would probably know like The Hungry Caterpillar. And um, this amazing artist is so talented because he takes hand-painted papers, he cuts them into shapes, and then he glues them together to make his images. So as you flip through any of his stories, you'll notice that his first um, pages are usually looking like they're hand-painted papers. And this is how he begins. And then he starts by cutting shapes from here. So I'm going to demonstrate a, a really cool technique. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video. So a couple things you need. You are going to need a drawing of anything but we're going to do animals and when you draw your animals you should be using shapes and drawing big. We're going to be using um, this paper that's called transfer paper. It's very thin and I have placed a little sticker on the on the one side that doesn't have this material on it so you want to always see the sticker. You're going to need a pencil a glue stick, a scissor, and of course you're going to need some really colorful, fun paper. Um, at school, my students in kindergarten hand painted these papers and they used different materials to make different textures and designs. Now we get to use these papers to make our beautiful butterfly today. So it goes like this, no matter what animal you have or what picture you have, you need to start by having a choice for color. So I'm going to decide that I'm going to use the body, which is this part of my butterfly, um, and I'm going to make it this color. So I'm going to put this paper down on my table. I'm going to put the transfer paper on top so that I see my sticker. And then I need to make sure that I get the body over the paper. So if I put it down over here, it's not going to work. I need to make sure my body, the part that I'm making, is over the paper. Now I call my left hand my helper hand because this hand is going to help to hold the paper still. You don't want this to move. And I'm a righty so I'm going to write with this hand and I'm going to trace over my picture but I'm pressing really hard. I'm pressing really hard and I'm just going to trace the outside shape. I'm not going to go and trace these lines yet. Just the outside shape. Pressing really, really hard. Now, this hand stays still and I'm gonna peel this back. I'm gonna peel back my transfer paper and I can see that it worked. So I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I'm gonna take this away and now I see this shape. Right away, I can't do anything else until I cut. I wanna remind everybody who's watching, thumb in the little hole, fingers in the big hole. This hand steers the paper and this hand, all it does is this. So I'm going to cut this out on my line. Now if, you are, um, if you're just starting this and just trying this, you have to cut on your line. It's very important because if you cut it inside your line, it's going to become too small. So cut on your line and use this hand to turn your paper. Now this piece came out and I can put this on just like a puzzle and it fits perfectly. So I can take my glue and I'm going to put the glue on the back of the little piece and that's not enough glue. You want to get enough glue all around this piece to make sure that it's stuck on there when I'm done. So I got enough glue, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to press it and rub it down like an iron. Add a little glue on my paper. Press it and rub it down, okay? And if you get glue on your fingers, you can just rub it really hard and really fast and the glue goes away. Okay, now I'm gonna do this again with a different part. I'm gonna do the wing. So I have all these beautiful decorations on my wing, but I can't worry about those right now. So I'm gonna just try to remember what they look like in my brain. I'm gonna pick a color for my wing and I'm going to do this all over again. I picked my paper. I'm going to use this one. I put it down. I have my transfer paper. 
with the sticker showing. Very, very important. The sticker needs to be showing. So I have my painted paper, my transfer paper with the sticker showing. And now I want to make sure that I'm going to do this wing, so I want this wing to go on top. I can't put it in the middle. I need to make sure this wing goes right on top. My helping hand holds the paper still. This hand has to trace on my line, pressing hard. Now when you get to a part where you already cut out and glued, you want to trace around that shape too, right here. All right, I'm not going to trace my designs. I'm going to make them go away, and there it is. Now, thumb in the little hole, fingers in the big hole. Cut it out. This hand is turning the paper. I'm cutting on my line. And the cutting might take a little while. Take your time, do your best, and any lines that you see, cut right on the line. Immediately, turn it over. Get a lot of glue on there, be very generous. We don't want these pieces popping off or sticking up. And then turn it over glue it on like a puzzle and rub okay I would I would like to find another piece like this so I could do this wing but if I don't have it that's okay because I can always get a different kind of paper and I would do the same thing it's a pattern you just do one piece at a time I like to work with the bigger shapes first and then later on we can cut out all these little decorations and glue them on after but for the first day of this project, you want to start by getting your biggest shapes done first. For most of you, if you did an animal, it's going to be your body. All right? So you, put, you pick your paper, colorful side up, transfer paper, sticker showing, shape, my helping hand, and trace. So I'm not going to do any more because you get the idea. I'm going to let you all get to work and um, have fun with it because this is such a cool experience to be able to do. And my students in my classroom are going to get to use their paper that they painted. Okay, enjoy yourself and I can't wait to see the end results.